Welcome ladies and gentlemen. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a fully automatic elviary farm. It uh, goes with bees rounded around once you make your super bees and stuff. I didn't see a whole bunch of videos out on the elviary so this is just going to be kind of a uh, scan and go one. I'm going to dig up, show you guys what I got and yeah. Um, Obviously, I'm not going to get into the crafting of the alvear and stuff. If you're advanced enough in bees, I have all my bee set up over here. And liquid DNA, ignore that. Um, then you're advanced enough, probably, to do this system. So let's start off. I'm going to dig into the ground here a little bit so you guys can see, furthermore, what my setup is. I didn't want to have it dug out so you could see what it looked like without it being dug out, I guess you could say. Um, anyway. I like to use ender chest for collection. I have a giant ME system in the house here, so... Anywho, um, so I got my elviary set up. It's the 3x3x3 three by three by three blocks with the slabs on the top. And uh, I got my distilled queen going right now, really, really slow. Um, they are my super bees, which is good. Just total fast worker, really slow in healing health. Anyway, so I got the 3x3 three three elviaries on the top. In the middle here, I got the two frames and also the uh, frames underneath. Right here, the brick is the rain shield, and on the other side, that's touching the glass. Since I can't pump anything into it, I have the uh, light block. Anyway, and then I have a buffer feeding into those. Buffers feeding into uh, those frames and under. And then these three alvearies are just mirrors of each other, so easy enough. Same thing behind this one is a light block. Anyway. APRS chest, um, just to hold the extra drones that uh, do go through. Essentially, I've been noticing um, with the setup I'm using, uh, these bees, I'll get into it a little sooner or later on, but the bees tend to last for an hour and 13 minutes, which is really good. They work really fast, so they produce combs really fast, and they last for just over an hour now, which is awesome, I've heard anyway talk to this guy. Anyway, um, so with these uh, frame housings, they actually hold a frame, and these frames I'm using are healing frames. They heal the bees, which keep this bar up. So I think that's what's doing it, plus I have them with the absolute uh, longest lifespan. Once you get into um, serums, here's my traits. See, longest lifespan. So I have that pumped into them. Nocturnal as well, so they can work at night. Uh, rainfall. I pumped into them as well, and just in case they drop that trait and that trait, um, that's what the extra block is for right there, the rain and the glow block. And then obviously the uh, maximum fertility and the fast productivity. I don't have fastest yet because I'm just not quite at the end game. And that's all I've put in there so far. So up here I got an item tesseract. It's coming from my base ME system through this relay. And it is, I just make about 4,000, sometimes 8,000 healing frames at a time. And then it'll pull through for hours and hours. So this relay's full. This relay's full. They work much like a filter, but require no signal. And they have a nice inventory. So they're like a automatic feeding hopper, but instead of four slots, nine. So I, I chose that over hoppers. And same, these I just have two relays over here to keep them generally fed a lot better than this one feeding two. That's feeding the two over there and underneath. So anyway, that takes care of the frames. Again, you can put more frame housings in here. I think I might even... You can't have them, though, where these blocks are pulling from and stuff like that. Like, <clears throat> the, um... This actually isn't pulling, sorry. This is a shooting in pipe. But you can't have a pulling or shooting in pipe at a frame housing because then it's going to shove the bee into the frame housing. So I have the frame housings where I can, and again, each alveary block you have increases productivity and lifespan as well. So I mean, all in all, that's just kind of the best, I guess. So, um, and yeah, like I said, there's a million combos. If you need to do heaters or um, the hydros or fans or anything for the different types of bees, kind of change the heat, then you can. But let's break down this, uh, what's in the setup now. Okay, so we're going to come under here a bit more. Now, so the bottom of the alveary, again, like I see, there's the light block. Again, like I said, the alveary has to be an alveary block. And you can pull anywhere from the bottom. 
So I pull with a wooden pipe, and I have an Atarchic Gate. I set it to Space and in Inventory and Energy Pulsar. So, um, you can use no space in inventory or items in inventory, it doesn't really matter, they all kind of work. I was just playing around with it and that's what it got left on. And an energy pulse. So what pulse is, pulls the bees down, they hit the golden pipe which shoots them faster than the first aviary pipe they hit, a Pierre's pipe, sorry. I have princesses in grey, which go up and straight back into the alveary. Again, like I said, it has to be that alveary block. And then um, red is the drones, so reds shoot off this way and the drones come up. And with Buildcraft Pipe, it kind of does the one split or the other. So what I have is, is um, the gray I have drone and the yellow I have drone. Because um, that means it'll split off evenly or just go straight up into there. So with the maximum fertility, I've been getting four to five drones, one princess. Or if the combs take it up, then the drones just fill the rest via another princess. Like I get oily combs with these ones only, but if I'm using refined, I'll get oily, petroleum, and possibly ancient. So then you would get a princess and three drones. So anything like that. Sorry. And um hold on. Alright. Now um so you go and it would put one princess up into there and she'll automatically go in that top slot and then the first two or three drones that come out it'll go one drone into the chest and one into here and once this one has made a queen no more drones will shoot into here and um, the rest of the drones via if they have four or five depending on how many combs you have will shoot up into here and um, so then what I have also is in green I have items only, which then go off into the ender chest. And all of these just mirror. Um, these look a little different just because of um, it's in the middle instead of the corner, but they all have four inputs coming off, or sorry, four outputs coming off the APR's pipe. So um, that, I guess, about wraps it up. I guess some of the stuff I can show you real quick here is if you type Elviary, you have to research enough into bees to have uh, pollen and royal jelly. So the imperial bees and the industrious bees give you that. Into a carpenter, carpenter with honey, obviously give you scented paneling. The wood, all the different kinds, obviously. Um, then they have all these tiles. I believe it's because um, each one can take damage or whatever when you have them in a certain way. I'm not sure. But then you got a fan. Alveary fan. This would create a wintry effect inside the alveary, and again, you would just replace it with a block and also power it. It must have power. And then there is um, a heater, and you would just use BC power. I believe it only takes BC power, so MJ um, with the piping and stuff. The alveary heater, exact opposite. Obviously, it's going to increase heat. And then um, I believe the other one is Hygro. Yes. The uh, hygro regulator, which a hygro meter measures um, moisture and humidity. There was a lot of debate whether hygro meters and stuff with kids doing YouTube videos, I noticed. They say, oh, hygro? I think the guy meant hydro. No, a hygro meter measures moisture. So obviously a hygro regulator regulates the moisture. Again, it needs power and I believe a bucket of water or a cell. And it will regulate how much moisture is in the tank. And the last thing that doesn't have an el um, alveary in it is called the mutator block. It's right here. Requires the tubes. Again, alveary block. And when you have that stuck in one, I'll run over real quick here and show you guys. Not really part of my tutorial, but this I use for um, actually mutating my bees. The bees I want to get mutated. So they are 3x3x2 three by three by of the mutator blocks, and then the 3x3 three three of the alveary blocks. And what that essentially does is I have a buffer right here again, or sorry, a relay, shooting down into all of these. And nether stars give you the most times, it gives you 50 times mutation. There's uranium and other stuff before that if you're not as rich, or um, collecting wither skulls, I have a wither skull farmer. Anyway, um, that pumps all the pipes I have connected to the bottom, comes up through the floor and goes around. So I just fill this with nether stars. But I mean, one crossing, with all of these is so much times 
that it actually gives me a crossbreed almost instantly with just one nether star. So that's like 64 crossbreeds per stack. So I honestly don't have to fill this hardly ever crossbreeding. So again, that's the mutator block. Just has a GUI right here with... Um, when you look up the mutator block, you can see all of the different uh, times that it allows for mutation. And there's also, if you want to put... Um, for a little bit of a percentile in there, if you want to put the frame housings in a few of those, and put like a uh, soul frame, or if you've researched necrotic or temporal or any of those magic frames, you can increase mutation percent like 30%. So you can have a mixture of 50 times, maybe 30% or 60% and a whole bunch of 50 times, or I mean, however you want. I've noticed the mutator blocks work a lot better. I was pumping soul frames in there, that's how I know. But, uh, yep, so this wraps it up. That's an automatic apiary video um, going back and forth. Oh, yeah, the only thing I can say is I don't have one currently, but if you do not have a chunk loader in here and you happen to load the chunk right as the queen is dying, both drones will go into this apiarist chest right here. I'm not sure what it is or why, but if the chunk is unloaded, sometimes I've come in and I've seen the bees coming through the pipe right as I've walked in the door there, and uh, both of them will go into here. You'll have the princess in here. Oh, there was an oily comb. You'll have the princess in here, but both drones will go into here, so you'll actually have to manually feed one in there. So it's kind of nice to have a chunk loader. If not, then I mean, whatever. And you can see they produce all their own flowers and stuff. I started off with that pattern around each, but uh, all the flowers and stuff increase the area. Anyway, if you guys have any comments on all of these, I've done all of the blocks, all of the add-ons for them, and if you have any questions, leave a comment, and I will get back to you on it, and see you guys next time.